This is my introduction to using Arpeggio on a Yamaha PSR E463 keyboard. Let me start by telling you who I think this video is for. Whenever I put up a video, I always have a target audience in mind that I'm trying to address. First of all, it's for any new E463 keyboard owners who are in the process of learning about the keyboard. And they see a little button on there that says arpeggio, and they don't quite know what it means. Secondly, this video is for anyone who may be thinking about buying this particular keyboard, the E463 Yamaha keyboard. Like me, I looked at a lot of YouTubes before I bought my last synthesizer to understand what this thing could do and whether or not I wanted to spend the money for it. So for all of you that are considering buying this keyboard, this video will give you some idea of its capabilities. Thirdly, this is for someone who is just interested in learning what is an arpeggio? What does that mean? And how do you use arpeggios in songs? So if that's what you're interested in, I think you'll find this video interesting. Let me start with a dictionary definition of arpeggio. It is a group of notes played one after another in an up or down pitch. That's the dictionary definition of what an arpeggio is. Arpeggio comes from the Italian word arpe arpeggiare. I, I butchered my Italian, but that's as close as I can come. Anyway, the word means to play on a harp. And when you think about a harp player, they stroke each of the strings individually. We all know what a harp sounds like. So the idea that instead of just playing a chord, you only play one note at a time. That's what an arpeggio is. This will all make a lot more sense when I turn the camera on me and the keyboard in just a moment and I start demonstrating these. Now, on the E463 keyboard, there are three things that I can change that I control when I call up an arpeggio. First of all, the tempo. I decide how fast this arpeggio, how fast are these notes going to play. I get to select that very precisely. Second of all, I decide what key the arpeggio is going to play. Are we playing in the key of A, the key of E, the key of F? Whatever key I set up on my keyboard, that's the key that the arpeggio plays in. And finally, and very importantly, I get to decide of the 700 and some odd instruments inside my keyboard, which instrument is going to actually play the arpeggio. I can choose any of the 700 plus instruments in my keyboard to actually play the arpeggio. So tempo, key, and what instrument, those are all my choices. There are 115 musical arpeggios built into this keyboard. And there are an additional 33 arpeggios that are specifically designed to be used by percussion or drums built into this E463 keyboard. So that's a lot of arpeggios to choose from. If you look at the owner's reference manual, you'll find this page which lists all of the arpeggios. I know it's too small for you to see, but as a matter of fact, if you just Google uh, PRSE 463 reference manual, you can download this manual. That's exactly what I did. And you can go in there and look at this list in details yourself. Over on the left, I've just kind of highlighted some of the different kinds of arpeggios. Trance, salsa, reggae, ballad, strums, funky, sambo, 
bass, uh, bass, jazz, string, soul, punk, dance, gospel, and picking, as in banjo. There are more than this, but this gives you some idea of the tremendous variety of the kinds of arpeggios that you can you can call up. And of course, the other magic thing here is that with each of these arpeggios, I get to decide exactly what instrument. For example, picking might be something where I would choose a guitar or a banjo. Strings, obviously, I might choose a violin or a viola or a cello or the entire string section of an orchestra. So it's very versatile. I've got lots of choices. It's a lot of fun to do. Let's go and... Uh, First of all, I need to talk a little more about it. Arpeggios are used to do one of two things. It allows a monophonic instrument, monophonic, that's a fancy word. It means one note at a time. For example, a flute or trumpet or a saxophone or oboe, you can only play one note at a time. So there's no way a trumpet can play a chord, but... If I took that chord and allowed the trumpet to play one note after the other, that's exactly what an arpeggio is. It allows a one note instrument, a monophonic instrument, to play chords by playing one note at a time. The other thing, and the reason I'm interested in using them is because arpeggios create rhythmic interest in a song. It just makes a song much more interesting to listen to. And I will demonstrate this uh, repeatedly when I turn the camera on the keyboard. As a matter of fact, let's do this now. I'm going to leave my computer and let's go turn the camera on. And uh, of the, all of the 120 some odd arpeggios, don't worry, I'm only going to show you 12. I, I'm not going to make you sit here and watch two hours worth of arpeggios. I, I've chosen 12, and I think it will make the point. Let's go to the keyboard. Okay, now we're at my keyboard where I'm going to demonstrate arpeggios live. Uh, I want to start by showing you exactly what an arpeggio is. Here's a little style. And in my right hand, I have strings. And I'm playing chords. Okay, that's playing chords. Now let me turn those chords into an arpeggio. And I'm reaching out and I'm hitting the arpeggio harmony button. Ready? Click. Now I'll start off with my style. But instead of hearing a chord with all the notes played, you're going to hear the individual notes played one at a time up and down. Okay? By the way, the harder I hit it, the louder it plays. Soft. Hard. Okay, what if I want to change the key? Very simply, I reach out to transpose.
So just hitting the transpose, I can change the arpeggio into any key that I want. What about how fast it plays? So let me set the tempo. Now this is very, very hard, and you have to be very intelligent to know how to do this. So watch closely. Ready? Tap, tap, tap. That's it. Let me slow that down. Tap, 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 tap. tap. Okay, that's playing strings. What I'm going to do is I'm going to now change the instrument. So I'm reaching over to my voice and I'm going to punch in 001, which is a piano. So I've changed it from strings to piano. Now I want to go back and I'm going to reset the arpeggio. Uh, that is, I'm pressing and holding arpeggio, and over here on the numeric keypad, I'm going to punch in one, two, four. That happens to be the strings that we were listening to a while ago, but now instead of playing strings, it's going to play the piano. Let me play the accompaniment. I can change the key, I can change the tempo, and I can change what instrument is going to be played by the arpeggio. Now it has 115 arpeggios, uh, I'm only going to play about a dozen. So I've got a little list here of what I want to dial up. So let me dial in 030, which is called SYNARP1, S-Y-N-A-R-P-1, and it sounds like this. change it to another one. Let me, uh, I'm just going to reach up with my dial wheel since I'm, I'm in the section where I'm changing the arpeggios. I'm going to dial up 38, which is called down and up. And it sounds like this. It's down and up. So let's put the accompaniment in it. get the idea of that. Now let's dial in uh, 056. Arpeggio 056, which is called PF ARP1. Doesn't mean anything, it's just what they've called it. And it sounds like this. Do
pretty style. All right, let's go on to the next one, number 62. And this is called PF Ballad. And it sounds like this. Let me uh, change the key just so we don't get bored with it. And I'm also going to change the style. So I'm going to hit the style and dial in 076. And then I'm going to hit arpeggio. And I'm going to dial in, uh, let's see, what did I want? 062. Okay. That's the arpeggio. Here's the style. Let's go to style 088 called Disco Hands. And on the arpeggio, I'm going to dial in 068, clab at two. And here we go. that and by the way I keep playing Pachelbel's Canon uh, that's one of the most famous uh, melodies in the world all right let's style in um, style 086 called Saturday night and I'm pressing arpeggio and I'm going to dial in 083 which is called Ballad EP. So here we go. <laughs> Style in style 061, which is called Chill Out. And on my arpeggio, I'm going to dial in 029, which is called Up, Down, an Octave. So it's going to go up and down one octave. And let's put the style with it. Faster. One, two, three. Oops, not fast enough. Let's go there. That could be working a lot of songs. Okay, let's dial in style 121, which is called Country Pop. And I'll dial in arpeggio 094, which is called Guitar Arp.
I'm going to dial in style 127, which is called bluegrass. And on my arpeggio, whoops, on my, on my instrument, on my voice, I'm going to dial in 201, which is a banjo. And now I'm going to dial in arpeggio. Let's see what I would want. Arpeggio 096. Check this out. I play a guitar, but I've never played a banjo. But now I can play a banjo. So I changed the voice into banjo, and then I chose uh, a, an arpeggio called finger pick two, finger picking, and I think it sounds uh, pretty much like a banjo. All right, let's style in style zero five two, which is called retro club, and we'll put in arpeggio one. 29, which is called Jupiter. And uh, I'll transpose this just so we don't get bored with the same thing all the time. Here we go. Little disco. Oops. I still got the banjo. <laughs> I don't want that. I'm going to put it back to a piano. And uh, dial. Jupiter back in. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> 